I think we're live, kids. Oh, man, I'm trying a new uh, tripod thing, and it's, I just realized how shaky it is. It's like a teeter-totter. Oh, what are we doing today? We're breaking this bad boy out. Oh, oh man. Let me see if I get my monitor up. I'm working over here on my monitor. All right, live. Hopefully the volume is at full blast. You get it? Nope. We get it? Oh yeah, little delay. Small delay. No thanks, I don't wanna try your... Okay, here we go. So this is just gonna be another, I think I'm gonna lower that thing down a little bit. Yeah, we're, I mean, we're trying this, we're trying this tripod. Basically, it's, a, it's one of my light tripods, but it doesn't have a big footprint, so it's going to make life easier in the realm of uh, walking around the kitchen. Because, yeah, I got some meetings today, kids. I'm bedeviled. Bedeviled with meetings. I need to wash my coffee pot. Got hard water spots on it. Let's go with that. All right, I didn't have this all planned out super great, did I? Use that for the spoon. Use that for the sugar. Hopefully you don't get seasick, because I realize my floor wiggles too. I might have to go back to the old tripod. cat has decided the greatest thing in the world to do now is meow in my ear early in the morning and demand breakfast. He just started doing this in the last like five days because it worked and like he figured it out. Like the cat's old. He just finally figured out if you stand on someone's head when they're sleeping and then meow in their ear, they'll get up and feed you breakfast. Now that's all he's about. He's just loving it. Oh, so good. All right. Now, I know I've done waffle videos before, but I've never done a waffle video with this machine. And yeah, this isn't... <laughs> I probably should have cleaned this up a little more. It's a little grimy. This is a vintage rival. I believe... I know I tell my stories and people correct me. I believe this was a possibly a wedding present that my parents got. So this thing's probably at least 50 years old. And uh, I don't know if I dare try. What's interesting about this waffle maker is that the irons are reversible. Can I? I don't think I can even, they're probably just hammered in there. Oh, no, wait. Come out. So it'll do that, those patterns. I don't even think this side's ever been used. Let's see if I can get it put together without breaking it. Okay. But what's cool about this waffle maker, I, don't, I guess I, I got that Belgian waffle maker and I've just been making Belgian waffles for years now. You know how it gets when you get new things, you get excited to use them and you forget about your old things. Well, what's cool about this one is if you make a waffle, then you cut it right there. It makes a piece of waffle that's about the size of a bread. And this makes thin waffles. And what I used to do, I'm probably going to do it today and make a batch, is you, unfortunately, the day you make the waffles, for the most part, you eat strips. And then you freeze these guys. And they fit in the toaster. You're making egos, baby. Ego. Lego my ego. So, yeah. That's what I'm going to do today is I'm going to make some waffles. We're going to test this thing out. It's got the oil. I'm going to be spritzing some oil in there and spreading it around. Probably use a silicone brush if I had to guess. Uh, how about this blue one? It's nice and on top. We'll use the blue silicone brush to 
getting in there. Now, the thing that's bumming me out is it's been so long since I used this, I don't remember how much you stick in the machine, which is kind of crucial to know, but whatever. I digress. We're going back up. I just realized we're going back up. All right. We're going to have some juice today, too. Pineapple orange. Oh, man, how exciting is pineapple orange? There's little Gary. He's eating. Let's see if I can get little Gary in the video without filming too much of my unclean kitchen. Oh, I've got some wrappers on the floor. Gary, you're making crumbs, bud. Can I get this to tip? I had a request for cat eating video. Get in there, bud. Get in there. Oh, orientation. All right. Well, dishwasher's open. <laughs> Jeez. What am I doing? What am I doing? Anything for a fan. Well, almost anything for a fan. All right. So I got to decide. Am I actually going to make a bunch? I think I'm going to do it. Because, like, I don't buy waffles anymore. I used to buy waffles. I don't buy waffles anymore. Got a brand new unopened package here. Might be a little dusty. Let's see. Let's dust her off. This was in the in the overflow storage. Fresh. Brand new. Make sure I don't cut that. I don't want to cut the, uh, the Ziploc on that. That'd be borderline crime. All right. So what we're making. I think I'm going to do two cups. I'm not going to eat that much, but I'm gonna, I think I'm going to do a two-cup batch. That's going to be my plan. And it's always good to have plans. Why is everything I have just coated in dust? Just the dusty guy there. Just, eh, such is life. Okay. I guess I'll get scientific. I mean... I don't think I have that on film. Uh, yeah, I kind of do. I do it left-handed. My coffee still hasn't kicked in all the way yet. I'm kind of still half asleep, and it's way early. Like, my cat woke me up at, like, 6 o'clock this morning, which is, like, if you know me at all, that's... That is inappropriate cat behavior that I need to figure out how to solve. Because I can't be getting up at 6 a.m. on my day off. Like, that's not cool. Bad cat. Oh, it's good coffee. All right. Let's get this out of here so I don't uh, spill it. I got a defective zipper. No. Zipper. Urgh, strong. Okay, two cups is one of, the, one of the th a third cups water. How much do I have? Oh, I got the wrong cup measure. Let me get a different one. I don't, want, I don't want to measure my water twice. I just want to do it once. I got a two cup in here. Give me one second. Did it break something? Bam! That's right. Two cups, kids. Two cups. All right. We only need one and... What is it? One and a third? Do I have a third on there someplace? Oh, right there. Right, here we go. Yeah, it's perfect! All right, I need to think about what I'm doing here. What am I doing? Make sure if my fly's down. Set my fly up. All right. With the... Uh... Wait a second. Waffle directions. Waffle directions are different. Two and a half cups water. Wait, what? Let's do it. I think I can read eventually. Perfect. Yeah, right down here is waffle. Two cups mixed, check. One and a half cups cold water, check. Two tablespoons of vegetable oil. Well, <clears throat> you know what I should use? Let's use one of these kids. Should we use a Danish dough hook? Oh man, I think it's gonna happen. 
I'm gonna use my Danny Stowe hook. I've never, I, I, I own like literally like ten of these things, and I've never ever used one. I don't know if that's what you're supposed to use to mix, mix waffle mix, but I'm mumbling. Oh wait. Hold on, hold on. Well, it's got two holes. Which one do you use in life? One holes or two holes? We're going two holes. And if that fails, we'll go whisk. Okay. Two tablespoons of oil. I don't think I'm going to measure that. I'm just going to give it a, a hit of oil. I should probably preheat this thing. Oh, God. I wish I could remember how to do it. I used to have a, a system. I had a full on system. I had a measuring cup figure. It's either a quarter or a third. I'm probably go with the third. See how that works. I think I'm about to get electrocuted. Okay, it's plugged in. Let's get down here and show you what we got going on. All right, we got a light on. So that's gonna be crucial. That's, I don't know what that setting is. We're just going with that one right there. We're just gonna let that go for a little bit. And uh, when the when it changes, we'll do something. When that light changes, we'll figure something out here. I don't know what we're gonna figure out, but we're gonna figure it out. All right, is that the water? Oh, I just realized my arm. Could I put my arm any more in the shot? Well, yeah, you could, but two tablespoons. So we're gonna go. One tablespoon, that's probably way more than two tablespoons. That's right. All right, Danish dough hook. Let's give it a try. Ooh, so far, I like it. That's actually working really good. Get my arm out of the way. My God, I think we're perfect. That's amazing. you know me in real life and you're impressed by that and you don't have one of these and you're thinking to yourself, man, if I only had one of those, let me know. I've got some spares. I might be able to hook you up. I mean, that's, that's mixed. It's like, I mean, that's just fantastic. I can see the light now. Like, that's amazing. The Danish Stowe hook, stainless steel version. Love it. Love that to death. So I'm going to Rinse it off real quick so it doesn't like get all grossy stuff batter situation. Just for the official live stream, I actually have uh, wood handled ones too. Sorry, one, two, threes. See? That's just my personal collection. And then I got overstock in the other room. Lots of them. Oh, what's up, Sam? What's, up? what's going on? So today, I'm using the old vintage, old school. Today's your birthday! Oh my goodness. Well, happy birthday. Happy birthday to you. Birthdays are fun. I, I like birthdays. Happens once a year. What I've noticed about birthdays is, well, in America anyways... 18 is kind of a big deal because you're an adult at 18. 21 is a big deal because you can have a, you can drink a, a beer and after that it's downhill. My birthday, uh, my birthday's in September. I'm a, I'm an autumn, autumn baby. But uh, yeah, so anyways, this old school waffle maker. Ooh, I haven't used it in a while. Things got to be almost 50 years old if I had to guess. But yeah, let's see. Yeah, I, I'm trying to think. Did I do anything for, for my birthday this year? I don't know. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm getting kind of old. So like birthdays isn't really, you don't get so excited for your birthday anymore. I think honestly the birthdays are best when like you're a kid because like you get birthday parties and like. It's pretty awesome. And then you grow up and it's just like, oh man, another day. Another day towards getting older. All right, I got to think about what I'm doing here for a second. I 
got to make these waffles right. I got to remember which how much how much batter. I think it's a third. I think I'm going to go third in each side. Does that sound right? I don't even know. Or half? Half would be too much. It's a tricky operation picking your amount of battery because if you put too much in, it just goes everywhere. So you got big plans for your birthday? You going to go out to eat or have a party, eat a cake? Uh-oh. I think I lost my live stream. Nope. Did I lose my live stream? No, that's still there. I lost my feed. Oh, you just had a small party. Nice. Go back to live. Did you get anything? You get a present? Anybody, anybody give you a present? I'm trying to think. Birthday presents. Yeah, I mean, I think a lot of it also is like, as you get older, you just kind of decide kind of what you want. And then you make plans to like, make it so you can get what you want. And when you're younger, you can't have anything you want. And then the whole world has to help you. Everything's fine. You're doing, oh yeah. Now my live stream just, uh, not my live stream, my, on my monitor, it froze up on me over here. So like it got weird for a second. All right, so what we're waiting for on this one, there's a light right there that indicates something. I don't know exactly what I assume. Yeah. This might be an interesting live stream. You, you, may, you may see some like quasi disasters happen here. Because I honestly haven't used this thing in like five years probably. Maybe more. Because I, I got that Belgian waffle maker that makes the thick Belgian waffles. Oh, wait, what do we got? Hold on. Ooh, money. Love that. A photo class from friends. That's cool. Green cards. Ooh, a new keyboard and a mouse. Nice. That's cool. That's super cool, especially if you needed a keyboard and a mouse. That's the best kind of present. It's something you actually need. I'm not sure if there's the worst kinds of presents, but if someone gives you something and it's like a, a downgrade, you, it's kind of weird. So I'm going to recap something. A photo collage, that's pretty cool. Uh, I'm kind of torn on cards, man. Like cards, I don't know. I mean, unless they're stuff with cash. I mean, what's, what's weird is like in America, cards are super expensive. Like you, you can't buy a card for like a 50 cent piece. It's like multiple dollars for a card. And it's like, let's see, good quality keyboard and mouse. Well, that's awesome. Good deal. Good deal. But anyways, I always tell people if you're gonna if you're gonna waste five bucks on a greeting card, just give me five bucks. Like I will get more use and appreciation out of five dollars than if you spend five dollars in a card. Like, I mean, I'm sure there's a sentiment behind all that where it's like, hey, I got you, I got you this card. Let's see how this thing's going. Ooh, that's something's going on there. That is smoky guy there. I have a feeling that this is going to go in a bad direction real quick. Why is that smoking so much? That's crazy amount of smoke. Is my fire alarm going to go off with that? Probably could. Yeah, we might have a fire alarm going off here quick. The council who's nerdy does. Well, so yeah. Unfor unfortunately for Americans, uh, they realize it's a money-making opportunity to gouge people for cards. Like, cards are not a dollar, I wish. I mean, they, I've seen people spend, like, $15 on a card. Like, it gets crazy. And I don't quite understand what the deal is, why they think the cards have to be worth so much. I, I, I think it's because they, everyone thinks it's an obligation. You have to do it, so they're like, they got you. All right, I'm going to try to spray some of this on here. This is just some oil. We're just going to try to oil the. I'm just going to try to oil it to help it release. I'm not really doing the greatest job with this. Come on. Come on, fingers.
Oh man, this thing is El Scorcho. Oh man, this is gonna happen. Whether I'm ready for it or not. I feel like the top maybe isn't heating up as much. Woo! The lights off, you know what that means. It's go time! Let's see. Oh, I should read this, it's pretty good. The life we live isn't about just uh, making good memories and living with uh, and live with happiness. Giving greeting cards won't show affection and love. Yeah, wear some gloves. I got some. I got some fireproof gloves. Yeah, I don't know. And then I think one year I didn't get any cards. I was kind of like, I didn't get any cards. So maybe I just like to bitch about stuff. I don't know. I mean, I really don't know. Yeah, here we go. We're gonna do the uh, third cup. See what happens. Wish me luck. Oh, that could be fatal. I spilled some around the side. Okay. Okay, let's get this down in here. Let's, we got some. We got some. Uh, we got some steam coming off that thing. Some serious steamage. We're gonna use this fork for extraction. That's too much steam. Yeah, I don't know, man. This thing's out of control. It's 50 years old. Well, I think I must state for the record is my house isn't super hot right now. So that might be part of it. It's kind of cool in here. So you're getting you're getting like cold air effect from uh, the temperature of my uh, my living quarters, <laughs> which is kind of funny. So I don't know how to tell when it's done. I can't remember. When it stops steaming or starts steaming or it smells like burnt? I don't know. We'll figure it out here. <laughs> that's too much steam. Yeah, that's a lot of steam, isn't it? Ah. Uh, what do I generally do on my birthday? Uh, I mean, traditional birthday in America would be like you'd get together with like family and friends, have a little party, eat some food, have a cake. Blow your candles out. You guys do candles on your cakes? In America, what's traditional is you put one candle per year on the cake. And then you have to blow the candles out and make a wish. And if you don't blow all the candles out in one uh, one try, your wish doesn't come true. But I'm sure that's all changed with COVID. You're probably not allowed to blow candles out. I mean, I don't want to call my mom out or anything, but one year when uh, she'd been having quite a few birthdays, I literally put one candle for every year in her life and we brought the cake out. <laughs> it was like, I walked past the, we have what's called central heating and air conditioning in the United States. And there's a, a unit on the wall that senses the temperature and adjusts the house temperature to keep it consistent. When I walked past that unit, it set the air conditioner off. <laughs> I mean, the flames were coming off the top. It was fantastic. All right, I'm going to check this thing. Oh, that's done. Look at that, kids. Woo. Get that out of here. Let's get that out. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right, so what I'm going to do, like I said earlier, is if I, if I trim, if I trim this waffle just right, it fits in my toaster. And then I can have waffles in the morning for breakfast. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to trim these. If I remember right, it's this one right here. And then that is a waffle toaster sized thing. And I'm going to put him over here for reserve. And then I'm going to look at this one. This one I'm going to do a little trim on both sides, I think. Make them nice and square for, for the breakfast. Which is kind of weird to like, you know, take the time to cook yourself waffles. But then save them for eating later. So yeah, there's my pile. And I'll eat these right now. That will be my plan. So this is not just me eating breakfast. This is like preparing breakfast is for the future. Put a little butter out. So I guess what this would be technically is uh, uh, waffle strips. 
We use honey on that waffle. I got some honey, but I also got this uh, super bad for you fake syrup. Tastes good though. I'm influenced by the corporations in America that tell me that I have to have syrup on my waffles, which I know is a terrible way to be living life, but. Oh yeah. So this is different than a Belgian waffle. It's really thin. I mean, that's not a thick waffle. That's pretty thin. Mmm. That's good. It's crispy. All right. So I'm going to cook another one here. And then I'm going to make some juice. We're doing orange pineapple. That's going to be the madness, the madness for today. So I think, I think I, my memory came back to me. I think that, that size was about perfect. I'm not going to oil this time. Hopefully I don't get in trouble for that. So that, and that, and the clothes. Ooh, it's really puffing up. I just watched a video which tells how big corporations rule the world and how they involve the normal people's data. Yeah, no, that's, that's real. And it's hard to get away from it too because it is hard. It's hard not to be a, not, I'm not going to say slave, but like just a, an indentured servant to the, to the whole, what they call it, the rat race. It's a rat race. You just get stuck in it. Consumerism and all that. I mean, I, I'm not going to lie. I like to buy things. I mean, we just had the biggest consumer holiday in the history of the world just like a couple days ago. It's called Black Friday in America. And, uh, yeah, it's hard not to be, like, into that because there's things you need in life and want, and uh, nobody likes paying extra. So, like, ugh. I mean, I actually, this year, I actually went out shopping on Black Friday. I haven't done that in years. I always order my stuff, but there was a couple deals that I just couldn't pass up. I had to go in, in person to go purchase them. And I'm not proud to say it, but, like, I went. I woke up early. Well, not super early. But the stuff I got, it's like, whoo, deals. I got some deals. Good deals, actually. There's a store, like a farm, a farm store. Let's see. Have you filmed when you went? But no, I didn't film when I went to buy my stuff. No, because like, it's hard to describe. Like, I mean, this year it wasn't as bad as it's been in the past. I think partly COVID and like, I think people just got sick of going out in it. But like, it used to get like kind of crazy on Black Friday. Like people shoving and getting wild. It was like not out of the realm of possibilities. So I, when I go, I just like, I'm getting ready, but. I mean, I'll make a video of what I got. I mean, it's not that great, but basically what I got was some tape measures, but they're going to give them to me for free. I got free tape measures. They're going to send me the money in the mail. Ah, how great is that? I got some other things, too. And uh, there'll be videos coming out. Am I getting that on there? Made some impulse buys, like split decision, like instant decision stuff that I don't know how to think about it at this point. I mean... It's things that are like I could use, but like, do I need? Nah, kind of need them, but don't really need them. But like, always should have got one, but never got around to it type of deal. I'm rambling. All right, I think we're going to check this thing. Oh, it's separating. I should have oiled it. I think I'm going to have a disaster here. I think I'm going to have a problem. I always end up spending more knots. Basically what happened is I went to a store to buy a couple of things very specifically that, and basically it's these, uh, these, these, these tools that I've always kind of like, well, I should pick those up when they're on sale, you know, and they're always on sale. It's always the same price. I say, oh, I'll get those next time. I'll get those next time. Well, all that's changed now. 
Oops, I just realized I'm not filming this over here. All the it's going to be cheap forever stuff is not cheap forever. Like the prices are, everything's going up in price. And then I finally realized this and I was like, dude, I can't, I'm not going to be able to get those two tools I want for as cheap as they used to be. Everything's expensive now. And I've been, I started watching like the price never came back down. It's like, it was always expensive, expensive. The blending. And uh, I told myself if those if those two tools ever come back down in price, I'm gonna buy them instantly. And well, on Black Friday they did. Oh, look at that! Look at that! That's my oil. I'm gonna share my coffee thing with my oil rag. Right? I'm gonna get a fresh fork. Let's pry these up. Oh, those are looking good. And that's looking professional right there. I just got to uh, cut this edge off to make it fit my waffle or my, my toaster. Look at that. Now I got two strips to eat. And then these will freeze. Yeah! <laughs> Look at me go! Look at me go, kids! All right, I was talking about some Black Friday. Uh... So anyways, I went to that store to buy those. I mean, I'll tell you what they were. But it'll be a video. It's, I mean, spoiler. A couple torque wrenches is what they are. Small torque wrench, medium. I already got a big torque wrench. That's why I never really was like, oh, I got to buy another torque wrench. Like, how many torque wrenches do you need in life? But I always said, you know, I'd like to get the other two because I think it'd be cool to have them. And they used to put them on sale for cheap. Like, just close out, like, 10 bucks or something. You know, like, these torque wrenches are pretty cheap anyways, but, like... You could get them for really, really affordable. Well, they stopped doing that. And also now they're like 20 and 25 bucks. Like, oh, that's double the price. Like, my goodness. Well, for Black Friday, they finally came down in price. So I was like, oh, I'm going to strike by the iron saw. So I went out to the store to uh, to get them. That's perfect waffle. I agree. Looked perfect. Came out great. I went out to, uh, to get them. And I'm standing there like, you know, in the store as I'm walking in. And some guy heads up to the checkout with a, with an item, and it's something like I've always looked at and always said, ah, it's a little too expensive, that's too fancy, it's a case, a big case for an object, a waterproof, heavy-duty sided case for a large object that's valuable, and uh, I was like, what's the deal, he's like, oh, they got them on sale, I'm like, oh, oh man, they're on sale, I always wanted one of those, and uh, and to buy one, full impulse deal. I did do a little negotiation with them and I got an extra 20 bucks off because that's the way I work is I get deals on stuff. What I tell you is it doesn't cost you anything in life to ask for a discount. A lot of people like, I don't know if they're, it's their pride or whatever. The person can tell you no, like that's totally a deal. Like, you know, ask for a discount. No. Okay. Ask for a discount. Yes, you just got a discount. You know what I mean? Like, hey, man. And I guess if you pride yourself in paying full price, then yeah, congratulations. Like, I don't get it. I, mean, I usually only ask for discounts on like stuff that has like di like a cosmetic damage or like a thing like that. So when I open this case up, it's the kind of case that has what they call pull apart foam. So you open the case and there's a layer of foam and you can pull these little squares out to make a hole the exact size of the object you're putting in. Well, someone had opened this case, taken their hand and pressed it into the foam and put a handprint depression into the foam. So I said, hey, the foam's been jacked up. Can I get a discount? And the lady goes, yep, I'll give you 20% off. And I said, I'll take 25. And she goes, nope, I'll give you 20 or I can, or I can sell you a brand new one for full price. And I said, I'll take 20%. <laughs> Let's see. I feel like a cheap ass would ask for a discount. I don't know whether. Well, I mean, if that's the whole thing. That's what they're they're counting on. They're they're afraid that you're gonna ask. And I guess if the word is cheap, then I guess you're a cheap person. But you know what else is another word for that? A guy who can forge something else. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's like. I, mean, I suppose someday I might get to the point in my life where I don't have to worry about what stuff costs, but I'm not there yet. And uh, there's only so many dollars coming in, which means only so many dollars can go out. And uh, I like nice stuff, so like I really, I'm real, 
I really pay attention to my, my, my expenditures so I can afford my nice things. Like to the point where I almost go, I go without some things so I can afford the things that I want. Which I know, it drives some people that I know crazy. But like, you know, my sweatshirt's got some, it's a little ratty. Should I get a new sweatshirt? Yeah, I should. Am I going to? No. Oh, well, this thing has got more holes in it. That didn't bother me. And I suppose it bothers some people. I think we're going with this cup today. World's best boss. That's right. I gave this to myself. <laughs> what is that? World's best boss. All right, here's here's the part of the program. Let's see. But I have to save my for myself with no shame. Yeah, I mean it's it's a personal uh, choice whether you you know, like I said, I don't go I don't go to a store and try to buy something brand new and demand a discount. Like I said, but if I go to the store and like the box has been like opened up and all the tapes cut and it's like an open thing, I'm like, hey dude, the box is open. Can I get uh, cut me a deal? Well, that the person selling it kind of realizes that maybe they can get a sucker to pay full price for it. But if they can't get a sucker to pay full price for something that's been opened and used a little bit, then they just want to move the item and get it out. So they're happy to take a take a deal a discount. The other one you could do is like if, if you're dealing with an order where the item's got to be shipped back to replace it, if it's a, if a thing, you can just always bring out the cost of shipping. If the guy, if the person's like, well, I'll pay for shipping. Well, they got to pay for return shipping and they got to ship it back to you. So if you can get them to give you that discount off, they don't have to deal with it. So like they would happily do that without having to like physically deal with the package and repackaging and all that. And it's a win-win for everybody because that, that guy's out shipping anyways. I mean, that's just how life goes. All right, let's get this this pour. I always spill right now. This container sp spills constantly, but we're still going to go for it. Oh, the dog just smelled the waffles. Here we go. We're going to go with a fast pour. That's still spilling. Still spilled. I don't know who invented this container, but they need to be... They need to have a talking... Have a talking... A talking stew. Berta! What's going on, babe? Come here. Come here, little beastess. You want some waffles? I'll give you a waffle. Old dogger wants a waffle. Hey, Berta, it's Sam's birthday. You want a, this is a birthday, a birthday waffle. You're free. Yummy, yummy. How about that? All right. Oh, that's good, that pineapple. Yummy! Oh, my goodness. All right. So, I like to move these around, too, so they, otherwise they get soggy from the steam. Try to air them out a little bit. But yeah, those will go in the toaster for breakfasts. So I'll just pop those bad boys in and just whoop. A little instant, instant uh, homemade ego. Lego my ego. Oh, man. Black Friday, though, I tell you. I actually kind of went a little... <laughs> I went a little overboard on Black Friday this year. I'm not going to lie. I did. But, I mean, if you're going to go overboard, you might as well go overboard when the stuff's on sale. I mean, that's, I just, I'm a firm believer in it. Where's my sugar at? Why, why can't I find the sugar? Oh, here it is. I mean, I don't know. Whatever. Do you need it? Do you not need it? Can you live without it? Yeah. Sometimes you just can't live without it. So you get it. But you might as well get a good deal on it. Deals! All right. A little coffee action. Let's check that waffle. 
How's the waffle coming? Still got a little steam. I can't believe how good this juice is. So yeah, I got to shoot a bunch of videos today of my Black Friday purchases. A lot of it was ordered. I did a lot of ordering this year, but uh, yeah, it's it is what it is. Oh, that waffle's coming along. It's nearly there. I can't believe I'm going to start spilling off the side, making a mess. Ooh, that's hot steam. Careful, kids. Why can't I get that to open? Oh, man, that, that thing's way done. What happened there? I'll scorch you. Oh, I overcooked that one. Overcooked a guy. I got to figure out how to get that thing cut, though. Oh, man. Oh, that might not be a good toaster one. I might just have to eat that one. Ugh, brutal. Brutal. Yeah, we're, we're still going to try to figure it out. That's a, that's a, that's a crispy, a crisp, crispy toaster waffle there. For the refreeze, reheat. What am I doing? I need to try to figure out how to get this off the edge here. Oh, that just pops right off. Good deal. Look at me, solving my own problems. I don't know why that's just, I gotta figure out a better way to keep track of what I'm doing here as far as like when it's done. It needs like a bell or something. Angel got its wings. Yeah, I overcooked that one for sure. Oh well. Oh well. I'm over here like doing nothing by myself. Oh, little Gary's back at the breakfast bowl. The old little Gary. Well, Gary woke me up this morning, six o'clock. Oh, yeah. You like your waffles crispy? Mission accomplished. Oh, rejected. Eat it. Eat that waffle. It's a good one. Oh, she's just spitting them out. Okay. Well, it's official. I ruined those waffles. The dog is officially spitting them out. Ma'am. It ain't easy. It's not easy satisfying a dog with free waffles bits. She rejects them. I keep losing my monitor. Oh, what's going on? Is this thing still running? It says it's running. Yeah, I don't know what's going on. It is a mystery. I have no monitor now. But I'm still the world's best boss, so that's that's good. Oh man. All right, well, I'm just going to do this for a while. I know this isn't the greatest live stream, but I thought it'd be fun to show the, the rival waffle maker. But uh, I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna log off here. So I got to shoot a bunch of videos today from my epic Black Friday plunder run. Get my beard adjusted, so. I guess, Sam, I think you might have dropped off for a second. Happy birthday. But uh, I got to go take care of some things, finish these waffle cooks up, and uh, yeah, enjoy the rest of your day because I got things to do. Stay safe. Catch you on the next one. Peace.